because you've, you've got this pickup ring for the for the camshaft sensors. Uh, so what you, yeah, what you do have is them things sticking out like both. You just literally do them both up. You don't even have to hold the camshaft because while it, because that is holding it, the sprocket. When you do it up, that won't move anymore. It's literally just there behind the by the, by the drive shaft. Hi, welcome to the Sony Motors. And um, yeah, so today I just want to show you this is the 1.6 uh, petrol Ford Fiesta, but uh, you know, with the uh, VDG sprockets. And um, it, this timing is slightly different from conventional 1.25, you know, or 1.2, 4 focuses, you know, or Fiestas. Um, because you've got a VVT sprockets here and they're free spinning obviously uh, up the back you can't put the bar like you normally could because you've, you've got this pickup ring for the for the camshaft sensors uh, so we yeah, we do sticking out like that it's very similar to eco boost engines you know so like you put like a like a square shape brackets go over the top to make them square facing up well you can um, and obviously you've got the locking pin on the back of the engine at the back of the engine you've got a little plug that you will need normal focus is obviously and you put the timing pin in instead one of them uh, lock up the crankshaft obviously the bottom pulley is free spinning also so you, you can't just tip it and then get it right you know it's not possible so uh, we already put the belt in but because they had to have a head off and everything else so everything had to be retimed from scratch basically so what I'll do, leave the crank, bottom crank loop, and you have one of them tools. Uh, that's the EcoBoost sort of engine, 2 litre, 1.6 EcoBoost engine timing. You can get everything here anyway, so yeah, this is the tool that locks up the, the, the cam sprocket. It can only go one way. You see the little arrow up. You see they they they're slot in its own respective slots, but they, it can only go in one position. It cannot go any other ways. You slot and slide it all the way to the back, obviously, to hold it steady. Once it's slipped, slipped back, they're facing up. I mean. <laughs> If you would take them off, you could put the bar in, but obviously it's not possible because uh, then you can't get to the bolts afterwards, so you can't put them back in. So what I do, I use the mirror. Um, the mirror, you can see them slots. And you can see that and that end, the same here. Uh, it is a, that line has to be horizontal, but with a good light and a good mirror, you can see perfectly where you know how high the highest points on either end are and uh, they have to be exactly spot on right both both sides and while well, you know they, they were all loose obviously if you just do the cam belt you don't have to loosen them up you can probably just uh, mark them tip it them or, or whatever or lock up this with this tool and, uh, and then it will lock up anyway but once once that's locked up, you can you can literally turn with a 21 mil spanner. You can turn the camshaft until there. That is horizontal. 
with the edge of their head and then once it's horizontal you just literally do them both up you don't even have to hold the camshaft because while it, because that is holding it the sprocket when you do it up that won't move anymore neither will that so once they're done up that's done and the camshaft is hitting against the timing pin which i removed at the moment yeah it's hitting against it while you know you can always move it move it with a pair of grips or something so so the, the crankshaft actually hits against that pin and then you put crank fully back on tighten it and once it's tight that means the timing is done you just remove all of that turn the engine complete two revolutions and make sure it's all going back to where it's supposed to be just done but I'm just about to turn the engine just to make sure that nothing locks up and, and it all turns nicely you can see by the position of them little lugs when the timing is more or less approaching Almost up, so now I can just put the turn pin back in in the hole. That's it. And now the dong that means that the crankshaft it's in the position you can see these these marks are perfectly horizontal and so is this and you can see the, the edges of the this slot around on the edge of you know it's spot on. And that fits. Yeah, I don't have to put it right in because I don't have to, don't have to hold it but it's in. On the, on the when you do EcoBoost two liter petrol engine, you've got the dot and the and the little slot which will line will will line up with the DVT sprockets anyway. So, but on this one it, it's slightly different, but you still can use this tool. Very handy. Uh, and that way, timing is is bang on now. Otherwise, if you don't take it out, the engine is still locked up. And there. It's literally just there behind the, by the, by the drive shaft. But it's only one leak through. You'll see one of them screws in there. You pull it out, it's just a blanking plug, basically. Take it out and put that in. Put it back in now. Just use a little spanner or socket. Just lift it up. 